Despite Boxing Day being washed out, Glenn McGrath showed there was plenty of time for a result in Melbourne, claiming Atherton in the first over, quickly followed by Butcher. Alex Stewart had relieved himself of the keeping duties and promoted himself back to open. It quickly paid dividends, with the captain back to his aggressive best against an attack which included debutant Matthew Nicholson. Certainly went on, didn't it? And he went uh, for the full shot. It was on to him a little quicker, and he's hit it straight down the ground for four. He's gone for it. It's top edge. It races away hard to pick up. It's four more as the over ball. Three for 116. Oh, he smashed that one. That's a great shot. Short outside off stump, and Stewart. Really has got stuck into that one. The Barmy Army are on their feet. Bad ball, and there it goes. Well played, Alex Stewart. That ball is running very fast over the outfield again, and they will run for a chance of doing that at the MCG. A big round, lovely innings. One of the best. At one stage, England was 3 for 200, but lost 7 for 70. Stuart McGill cleaned up the tail, finishing with 4 for 61 to go with McGrath's 3 for 64. In reply, Steve Waugh blazed another fine century, batting brilliantly with the tail as he did so many times during his career. It's back to Shackles as he always does. It's a fine play. Just a bit of width, good way for four. Away. This will be 7,000 back for the second. Steve Waugh goes to 7,000 and now 7,001. A wonderful record. Only 17 players in the history of cricket have achieved this milestone. Oh, great shot. Well, he's just shot. He's caught that. And he's the hero of the loose ball, Steve Waugh. to a 70 run lead. Darren Goff was the hero for England with a lion hearted 5 for 96. Mike Atherton went into the innings on a pair and didn't take Damien Fleming long to put him out of his misery. Well he's got him this time and he's bowling neck and crop. It's 1 for 5 a pair unfortunately for Michael Atherton but superb bowling by Fleming. Yeah, and Damien Fleming has really enjoyed that one. So a pair for the former England captain a beautiful delivery and England in early trouble. Oh, well. How did he catch that? Michael Slater is the man. To be brutally honest, I was looking far west to see where it had gone. He's taking a catch close to the wicket. That is the most unbelievable catch that I've ever seen. A full-blooded sweep shot. And somehow he's come up with it. There's no way in the world that they could eye could keep track of this one. 
When England slumped to ninth for 221 and a lead of just 150, we were keen to get rid of duck collector Alan Malala as soon as possible. One, two, three, four, five. Most impressive there, probably the DNB.
and uh, they managed to snatch the victory here when it really did all look lost. They won this test match by 12 runs, the Englishmen all over the ground. One of the closest matches in Ashes history. What a horrible feeling in our change room with a 12 run defeat giving England a chance to square the series going into the final test.